Hello everyone. Uh, as you read uh, in the YouTube thumbnail, uh, we are going to start our new series. This is very very long series, so it will take the, the, its time to uh, complete. And we will be trying to give the pin precise uh, questions for the exam. Uh, uh, so this will be covering only the only the important, uh, very very important MCQs and topics. Uh, some will contain explanation within the question uh, that mean the within the video uh, some in the description box and as always the detailed explanation will be inside our telegram channel uh, so today we gonna start with histology right so we gonna start with, with a simple and magical story uh, I think that will be the best way to start this once upon a time, there was a curious young student named Maya who loved unrevealing the mysteries of human body. One day, her professor introduced her to the world of histology, the study of body tissues. Imagine our body as a vast city, the professor said, with different neighborhoods and structures working together harmoniously. Maya was intrigued. The professor explained that just like a city has different districts, our body have four primary tissues, epithelial, connective, muscular and nervous tissue. Epithelial tissues, the professor described, were like the protective walls and the covering of the city, shielding its inhabitants from harm. These tissues lined the digestive, respiratory tract and acting as a barrier against the outside world. Next one, the connective tissues. On the other hand, were the city's infrastructure, the roads, bridges and support systems that held everything together, bonds, cartilage and even the blood vessels were examples of connective tissues, providing structures and transportation throughout the body. The next one is muscular tissues where the city's workforce responsible for movement and locomotion. Just as construction workers built and reshaped the city, the skeletal muscles attached to the bones allowed for movements, while the smooth muscles in organ facilitated essential functions like digestion and blood flow. Finally, the nervous system, where the city's communication network, the transmitting the signals and coordinating activities. The brain, the spinal cord, now work together like a sophisticated commanded center, ensuring that the body functioned seamlessly. So now you know what is histology and some basic steps. So let's move to question number one. Which of the following is not primary tissue in the body? Option A, epithelial tissue. Option B, connective tissue. Option C, muscular tissue. Option D, vascular tissue. And the answer is Option D, vascular tissue. Now let's move to question number 2. Which type is responsible for movement and locomotion? Option A, epithelial. Option B, connective. Option C, muscular. Option D, nervous tissue. And the answer is Option C, muscular tissue. Now let's move to question number 3. Which type serves as protective covering or lining for organs and body surface? Option A, epithelial tissue. Option B, connective tissue. Option C, muscular tissue. Option D, nervous tissue. And the answer is Option A, epithelial tissue. Now let's move to question number 4. Which of the following is an example of connective tissue? Option A, skeletal muscle. Option B, brain. Option C, cartilage. Option D, nerve. And the answer is Option C, cartilage. Now let's move to question number 5. What type of epithelium is found in the alveoli of the lung? Option A, simple squamous. Option B, cuboidal. Option C, columnar. Option D, transitional. And the answer is Option A, simple squamous. Now let's move to question number 6. Which connective tissue stores fat? Option A, areolar tissue. Option B, adipose tissue. Option C, reticular tissue. Option D, elastic tissue. And the answer is Option B, adipose tissue. Now let's move to question number 7. Which type of muscle tissue is striated and voluntary? Option A, smooth muscle. Option B, skeletal muscle. Option C, cardiac muscle. Option D, elastic muscle. And the answer is Option B, skeletal muscle. Now let's move to question number 8. What is the primary function of osteoblast? Option A, bone reabsorption. Option B, bone formation. Option C, cartilage maintenance. Option D, calcium storage. And the answer is 
ocean be bond formation now let's move to question number 9 which artery type has thickest tunia media option a elastic artery option a muscular artery option c arterioli option d vein and answer is option b muscular artery now let's move to question number 10 the structural unit of compact bone is called option a osteocyte option b osteon option c lamella option d caniculus and answer is option b osteon now let's move to question number 11 which cell produce myelin in the central nervous system option a schwann cell option b astrocyte option c oligodendrocyte option d microglia and the answer is option c osteodendrocyte now let's move to question number 12 The dermis is primary composed of option A simple epithelium option B adipose tissue option C dense irregular connective tissue option D cartilage and the answer is option C dense irregular connective tissue Now let's move to question number 13 The lining of the blood vessel is formed by which type of epithelium option A simple squamous epithelium option B stratified squamous epithelium option C cuboidal epithelium option D transitional epithelium and answer is option A simple squamous epithelium now let's move to question number 14 lymphoid tissue is primarily found in the option A thymus option B pancreas option C kidney option D lungs and the answer is option A thymus Now let's move to question number 15. What process is nicknamed cell drinking? Option A endocytosis, option B exocytosis, option C pinocytosis, option D phagocytosis. And answer is option C pinocytosis. Now let's move to question number 16. Where is the site of protein synthesis? Option A ribosome, option B peridosome option c microfilaments option d centrioli and the answer is option a ribosome now let's move to question number 17 what type of tissue lines the bladder option a simple squamous epithelium option b simple cuboidal epithelium option c simple columnar epithelium option d transitional epithelium and the answer is option d transitional epithelium Now let's move to question number 18. What type of tissue lines most ducts? Option A, simple squamous epithelium. Option B, simple cuboidal epithelium. Option C, simple columnar epithelium. Option D, stratified squamous epithelium. And the answer is Option B, simple cuboidal epithelium. Now let's move to question number 19. What type of epithelium lines the trachea? Option A simple squamous epithelium option B simple cuboidal epithelium option C simple columnar epithelium option D pseudo stratified epithelium and the answer is option D pseudo stratified epithelium Now let's move to question number 20 what type of tissue lines the blood vessels option A simple squamous epithelium option B simple cuboidal epithelium option C simple columnar epithelium option D stratified squamous epithelium and the answer is option a simple squamous epithelium now let's move to question number 21 what type of epithelium is more than one layer thick option a simple option b stratified option c squamous option d cuboidal and the answer is option b stratified now let's move to question number 22 which of the following is lined by mucosa option a peritoneal cavity option b pericardial cavity option c pleural cavity option d elementary canal and the answer is option d elementary canal now let's move to question number 23 what type of gland secrete its product directly into the blood stream option a endocrine option b multicellular gland option c exocrine option d all of the above and the answer is option a endocrine now let's move to question number 24 what type of epithelium forms the epidermis option a simple squamous epithelium option b simple cuboidal epithelium option c simple columnar epithelium option d stratified squamous epithelium and the answer is 
ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി സ്റ്റാൻഡിഫൈഡ് സ്കോമസ് എപ്പിത്തിയും നൗ ലെറ്റ്സ് മൂവ് ടു ക്വസ്റ്റ് നമ്പർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് വാട്ട് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ടിഷ്യൂ ലൈൻസ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗാസ്ട്രോ ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈനൽ ട്രാക്ട് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ സിമ്പിൾ സ്കോമസ് എപ്പിത്തീലിയം ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി സിമ്പിൾ ക്യൂബോയിഡ് എപ്പിത്തീലിയം ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി സിമ്പിൾ കോളമിനർ എപ്പിത്തീലിയം ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി സ്റ്റാൻഡിഫൈഡ് സ്കോമസ് എപ്പിത്തീലിയം ആൻഡ് ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി സിമ്പിൾ കോളമിനർ എപ്പിത്തീലിയം സോ ദറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ടുഡേ If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. Explanation to each and every question is given in the description box and detailed explanation inside the Telegram channel. I will be back with part 2 next week at the same time. Thank you.